Uh, we're here on day one of the DARPA Robotics Challenge. This is the finals. This has been going on for years, actually. So this is the culmination of not just years, but millions of dollars worth of work for the 25 teams that have qualified. Um, they have to run one of these four courses, which uh, simulate the process of shutting down a nuclear reactor. Uh, the inspiration for the whole thing was the Fukushima Daiichi disaster in 2011. Everybody's here to see the falls in the same way that you go to NASCAR to see the car crashes. Alongside the competition, there's a big expo with people selling robot parts of all shapes, sizes, and varieties. Okay. Uh, some guys just have hands. Uh, there are robots that look like cheetahs. There's all kinds of cool stuff down there. So we decided to watch uh, the Walkman robot over here, which is, I believe, an Italian team. There's a robot driving a golf cart, and it's driving the golf cart really slowly, but it's able to get around these, wow, okay, people love this. It's able to just barely get around these barriers. And if you are, if you are like a, a football fan, this is the most boring thing you have ever seen. But if you are a golf fan, this is awesome. I like that its legs are sponsored by Amazon. Uh, this is being controlled out of a completely different building somewhere where they can't see anything. Hopefully they can hear the cheering, probably not. So we're in this big warehouse with 25 different garages and a couple of the teams have invited us to come back. So what do you do on the robot? So I did some of the really basic level coding. Okay. Um, I just switched majors over to computer science, so I'm still learning. But um, so I did some of that and I did some of the wiring on the robot, so soldering and whatnot. We are kind of a gritty team, we're self-funded, we right. do it ourselves, it's nights and weekends. Our robot is not expensive, it's like $10,000 at this point. Money shouldn't be a barrier for somebody who is brilliant and understands these things and can play around with it just because they can't spend $2 million on a, cha on a robot chassis. I mean, that just prevents, it just prevents progress at that point. I'm Josh Graff. I work with the WPI CMU team. Okay. At the, we have an Atlas robot here at the DARPA Grand Challenge. Okay. So okay. I'm on the field team for the challenge, which means I'm on the ground with the robot when we're actually competing. It looks like it could break down a wall, but it looks like it would be maybe less fun to be carried by it. Um. Certainly. So we all hope to someday be saved by a robot. Right. And these robots that you see here could be the precursors to those robots. Right. The thing is, they're designed more to uh, as a prototype, as something that can work well for years. We've worked on him for two years now and he's successfully made it through those two years. And so the, the gap to jump to working with people from these robots is still years away. Day two, we just saw IHMC's robot Running Man. It did all eight tasks after falling off the stairs yesterday onto its back. Everybody thought the robot was broken. Um, it, it did everything exactly right, including a really hard task where it had to unplug and replug a great big black cord. The Running Man, which we really liked, did super well. They won the million dollar second prize. In a huge upset, the Korean team called Keist won with uh, DRC Hugo, which is a really cool, sleek looking humanoid robot. Um, I think DARPA has to be a little disappointed with this. Uh, their contractor of record was Boston Dynamics, which Google bought. Boston Dynamics no longer makes robots for them. They're out of the DOD hardware business. So you, you have to imagine DARPA was hoping an American company would win this. Uh, now $2 million in prize money goes to the Koreans. It's a great team, it's a great robot. Everything was really, really cool looking. So one of the most interesting things about this challenge is that all eight of the tasks could be performed by anybody in between five and 10 minutes. And one of the tasks that was hardest for these things was walking. And I'm really glad that it's easy for me to walk to the car and go home. The promo video looked amazing. Would I look as cool as the people skiing down the slope in slow motion, or even cooler? I'll never know because the footage never came out.